Hello guys, welcome back to the Brooklyn Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to cover a fun little project that in my opinion hasn't really pumped yet. But uh, again, depending on whether you are a crypto trader or whether you are actively following the crypto markets on a regular basis, then you might find this project very interesting, right? And this project is called HORD or H-O-R-D. So as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any projects that we cover on our channel. And for this project, I highly recommend you guys to go to their website hard.app and you can learn more about this project, right? So what is Hard? Hard is basically a platform that uh, provides the best, uh, you know, uh, that provides the uh, list of best cryptocurrency portfolios from people who uh, are holding cryptos, right? Uh, basically on the website, they say follow the best crypto portfolios, never miss out again with Hord's dynamic ETFs, follow market leaders hold holdings uh, at a click powered by decentralized smart contracts, right? So again, it's a platform where you can basically uh, follow uh, other people's crypto portfolios and uh, you can curate your own based on other successful portfolios. Uh, you can kind of like uh, mix and match and create your own kind of crypto ETF. And uh, you can follow people uh, who, who are trading constantly and try to replicate their own success or even uh, do, the, uh, do the classical hodling based on another person's crypto portfolio, right? And all of this is done in a fully decentralized manner built on Ethereum and through decentralized smart contracts, right? So again, a very, uh, you know, not a, not a huge innovation when it comes to the crypto space, but it's a, a thing that uh, most people will continue uh, to kind of like, uh, uh, you know, be interested in because uh, as more and more uh, people start coming into crypto and seeing crypto as this asset that's a long-term investment, uh, they will probably want platforms like Hard, which will give them a opportunity to follow other people's portfolio in a decentralized manner, right? So what are the main features of Hard? Uh, it basically has one click, uh, instant launch of champion-led portfolios. Again, uh, it's pretty simple to use. That's what they mean by one click. Uh, automated, auto-adjust to new buys or sales. So again, if uh, someone were to buy or sell a crypto on their portfolio, it will automatically be adjusted and will be fully automated. Liquid, receive an ETF token backed by your uh, live portfolio. Again, this is kind of like a unique feature that they're offering, which is basically if you um, are following uh, someone's portfolio and creating your own portfolio based on someone's portfolio, you will probably be able to create a token that represent uh, that represents your particular portfolio and that uh, token can be you know, traded uh, and kind of like, you know, it, it will have its own market, right? So you will kind of uh, be able to track your portfolio, uh, you know, directly or indirectly via this particular token, which is also basically going to be the ETF of your portfolio, right? So very interesting, um, you know, um, that is a very interesting innovation indeed. So again, they have a really some really cool graphics here. Again, you can kind of like um, track pretty much any different type of cryptocurrencies using this uh, platform. Uh, you can basically broadcast your portfolio updates. Influencers, asset managers, and high-performing traders can create and update a public portfolio with basically uh, initial deposit, uh, public token picks, weight of each asset. So, if you are any of these people who have, uh, you know, like um, a huge, uh, uh, you know, crypto ho holdings with multiple different exotic crypto tokens by being an influencer, asset manager, or any high-performing trader, then you can kind of um, create your own public portfolio, which you can, uh, you know, use to kind of like communicate and, you know, kind of like inform your audience that, uh, uh, so that they can kind of keep updated with your strategy, right? Or and vice versa, if you want to follow some other popular uh, influencer or trader, you can do the same thing as well, right? So it's a pretty cool phenomenon. So if you see, Join a real-time mirrored portfolio. 
participants opt in a hard smart contract that mirrors a champion's portfolio issuing an ETF token that reflects the champion's portfolio assets movements and fluctuation in real time so again what basically uh, happens is uh, you can either choose a particular influencer and kind of like um, do it all by hard uh, smart contracts which kind of creates a mirrored portfolio of a champion's portfolio which is basically an influencer or someone else whom you're trying to follow and basically it issues an ETF token uh, that basically tracks the portfolio of the person whom you're following and reflects the champion uh, again that reflects the champion's portfolio asset movements and fluctuations in real time so this token that you will be receiving as a result of following that influencer will basically be representative of the entire portfolio of that person and when they make any movements this ETF will kind of like uh, you know move in a direction that will reflect the portfolio's uh, movement right so very simple concept champions follows uh, champions followers can buy these ETF tokens um, that are minted when a when the follower deposits funds in the mirrored smart contracts so again what basically uh, happens is uh, people who follow this uh, this champions uh, you know, portfolio can basically buy these ETF tokens uh, that are minted when the follower deposits funds in the mirror smart contract so when you kind of like want to mirror their strategy and you kind of uh, based on their portfolio you deposit money in a mirrored smart contract you are basically minting that ETF token and receive that token uh, for your contribution right so that's a pretty like, straightforward concept again it may not be necessarily uh, understandable by everyone but by the end of this uh, video you'll, you'll probably understand at least the basics of it which will help you kind of like do your own research to understand how these, this program works in more detail right uh, that ETF's value fluctuates in sync with the value of the assets in the champions basket and can be redeemed or traded so again as I mentioned before since you are basically holding a tokenized ETF of someone else's portfolio this token can be traded it can be exchanged you can pretty much do whatever you, you want with it or you can kind of like uh, exchange it in order to redeem um, the uh, the baskets you know the the uh, basket of uh, portfolio uh, or basket of tokens that is in the, in the champions portfolio uh, that you have contributed on the mirrored smart contract will be redeemed to you right um, so that's a pretty cool feature uh, trade tokenized portfolios the portfolio mirroring ETF token is liquid trade these tokens including close ended and time locked ones on the hard order book decks even at a price higher than the underlying value so uh, they're kind of diving deep into the the ETF tokens that's being issued and these are basically liquid tokens that can be traded in any form of decentralized exchange including the uh, hold order book exchange which is basically uh, going to be I, I think it, it, it's still in development it will be live pretty soon uh, you, you can basically trade it even in their uh, own decentralized exchange on their platform and kind of trade it for a slightly higher price than what you uh, got it for or uh, kind of like uh, you know you know make trades with people who are interested in buying this particular portfolio right um, platform features so here are some of the main platform features right leaderboard and discovery hoards a multi filter search function facilitates the selection of best performing etfs according to the large number of parameters hoards leaderboard displays in real time the up and coming highest performing portfolios so it's very cool because if you see um, one of the main features that they have is they have this leaderboard feature where you can kind of like see people's ETF tokens um, based on their performance, right? And the people who have the uh, you know best performing ETF tokens, they are on the top, and uh, people who are kind of like the worst performing, they are they are, they are the bottom and everyone else in, in the middle based on the ETF tokens performance right so you can kind of see the best performing token and you can kind of uh, you know uh, see if the person is willing to sell that token so that you can kind of repeat uh, you know uh, reproduce the success that they are receiving right so it's a very interesting concept order book decks AMMs are capital inefficient 
they require massive amounts of deposits to trade without large slippage. Hod's uh, order book, DEX, enables trading ETF tokens without burdening liquidity providers. Again, they are kind of acknowledging that uh, the current AMMs, which is basically any uh, decentralized exchange that uh, you know has a swap function, uh, has a, a issue with the when it comes to slippage and liquidity. But uh, their order book DEX doesn't really have this uh, when it comes to exchanging the ETF tokens, right? So that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, if you see governance and champions guide. Um, uh, you know, portfolio leaders with a track record of high performance qualify as champions. Champions are given the spotlight on the HOD platform. Uh, rising portfolio managers can be accepted into the guild through governance. So by having uh, an ETF token that is constantly performing well, you can kind of climb up the ranking in the dashboard to be one of the most popular uh, you know, portfolio holder thereby being awarded the title, the champion title and uh, basically you will kind of be in the spotlight within the hard platform and uh, you know by by being a part of that you can also kind of like you know um, uh, you, you can kind of participate in the governance aspect of it as, as well right. So that's a very interesting phenomenon. Um, if you scroll below we can clearly see that uh, they have a fee structure for hard um, platform. A mirroring portfolios pay a 0 to 40 percent gratuity fee for their performance. So again, you need to bear in mind that depending on which portfolio you kind of purchase and hold and whose portfolio you kind of mirroring out, you may, pay, you may pay a fee of from between 0 to 40 percent which can in some cases be quite expensive but depend, depend, depending on the quality of the portfolio itself, right, uh, this uh, price uh, the percentage would vary. Uh, champions are also collectively distributed 25% of the trading fees generated on the order book DEX. This gratuity is in proportion to the LTV of the champions mirrored basket. So again, by being a champion, not only are you given the spotlight and a, and a chance to participate in the governance of the, pro, of the protocol, you are basically also given a 25% trading fee that happens on the order book DEX. And uh, this is basically in order to you know motivate people to be more competitive and kind of like try to be in the top rankings all the time right so that's a very interesting feature so token economy success to success fee uh, upon redemption 5% of profits are uh, being used to buy back and burn hard tokens so again their native token is hard and uh, whenever uh, you know um, whatever transaction happens, a portion of the fee is basically allocated for buying back 5% of the profits uh, which are being used to kind of buy back and burn the hard tokens. Uh, redemption fee, uh, when a portfolio ETF is redeemed for its underlying value, a 0.5% fee is applied. So whenever you want to use the ETF token to redeem the actual portfolio itself, you have to pay a 0.5% fee. Uh, order book DEX fees. Um, a 0.25% fee applies to the trades uh, of ETFs on the order, order book DEX if traders own hard tokens, otherwise 0.4% uh, fees apply. So by holding their native token, hard token, you get trading fee discounts on their order book DEX, uh, which gives you uh, a discount from 0.4% to about 0.25%, right? 50% of the DEX fees uh, reduce hard token supply, the other 50% replenish the development fund. So again, when you have the um, uh, whatever token um, fee is collected is basically uh, going to be split into 50% for uh, replenishing the development fund and the other 50% is going to go to reducing the HOD's uh, token uh, supply by buybacks and burn. Governance, hard stakers will earn the right to participate in governance of the network and protocols. Again, by staking hard tokens, you will be able to participate in their governance uh, and, uh, you know, the, the governance of the network and protocol, right? So, hard token metrics, hard token is a deflationary utility token that is designed to run hard platform. So, again, um, if, you, if you realize from what we just uh, spoke about, this token is, uh, you know, constantly being burnt in this platform uh, depending on the trading volume as well as, you know, depending on um, 
how much activity is happening in the platform. So by default, this forms a deflationary token, which is a really good thing for the price appreciation perspective. 25% uh, for sale, again, which is about $2 million. Uh, so they're basically kind of talking about how much is allocated for sales uh, and uh, how much is allocated for participation, right? So about 25% of the token is basically allocated uh, for uh, the sale and among which 22.5% uh, for seed sale and 2.5% for uh, public sale, right? Uh, and the rest of, another 25% is used for participation, ecosystem champions and users participation. So again, by being a champion, you get a portion of the trading fees. I believe it's paid out in the hard tokens and uh, this is uh, basically, um, you know, some kind of a reward to incentivize people to become champions, right? 10% uh, for DEX liquidity and staking rewards. Again, 10% of the supply is provided for uh, uh, liquidity providers and staking rewards. 10% for long term, again, two to five years lock. So again, 10% uh, of the total supply is basically locked for a period of two to five years. And then 30% for team and advisors and as well as the foundation, right? So again, pretty, uh, you know, organic kind of like uh, distribution. Hard backers and champions. Again, this token was basically a part of the DAO maker launchpad and I believe that this token saw a 30x uh, increase in price immediately after its launch and people who bought the, uh, the seed sale from DAO maker made a 30x gain immediately, right? So that's a very interesting, uh, you know, dynamic. And you also have uh, LP Capital, uh, Blue Bridge Financial, as well as uh, exchanges such as uh, Gate.io uh, and Bella Protocol, which is a Binance Smart Chain based protocol, uh, Liquidity for Growth, Double Peak, Chain Financial, 7X Ventures, Orion Protocol, uh, AU21 Capital, uh, Master Ventures, Blocksync Ventures, Pluto Digital Assets, Wings, Rising Phoenix Ventures, Candac, uh, Coin98 Ventures are basically if you see, there's a huge list of uh, people who are backing this uh, this project, as well as uh, some people. Some of some of these people are champions within the protocol itself, so it's very interesting to see. Uh, and you can obviously access their frequently asked questions in order to understand this project uh, with a bit a bit more uh, detail, right? So again, that's pretty much it when it comes to the hard project itself. It's a it's a pretty straightforward concept. I mean, again, not a, a real innovative uh, project in my opinion, but it is something that will definitely become popular as more and more people start, uh, you know, kind of like uh, uh, wanting a means to track cryptocurrency portfolios, uh, uh, their own portfolios with other people's portfolios, and it's, it'll be a common place in the next few years, right? So let's go back to the hard page for the Coin Gecko uh, on Coin Gecko, and this token is currently ranked. 1007th by market cap on CoinGecko and it recently uh, had about 16.2% increase in the past 24 hours with a trading price of 53 cents at the time of making this video. And if you see the market cap, it's only $13.1 million in market cap. So again, very uh, you know low cap uh, kind of a gem, which uh, again, not, doesn't really have a lot of unique uh, traits to it, but it is kind of like its own kind of project that aims to uh, do something different instead of just a typical borrowing lending and staking platform or decentralized exchange platform that uh, most most projects kind of like copy and paste from successful projects like you know uniswap or pancake swap or whatever this project also has its own order book decks but its main focus is to kind of create this um, you know um, self uh, you know portfolio based uh, etf tokens which uh, people can basically track uh, uh, you know, uh, to kind of like uh, replicate the successful portfolios or you can kind of like, um, uh, you know, kind of like be your own champion uh, when it comes to uh, having a best portfolio which other people can follow, right? So again, when it comes to that kind of like a uniqueness uh, that this project is different from other projects, I believe that the market cap is incredibly low for a project that aims to, um, you know, make cryptocurrency much more like a fun kind of experience, right? So for this project, I would definitely like keep an eye out for it because it is a definitely uh, a low market cap gem and uh, it has already been uh, in 30x kind of uh, since its uh, private sale launch. And uh, I do believe that uh, this token has a high potential to grow, uh, maybe not as rapidly, but it does uh, have potential to be a long-term play 
uh, and it can definitely grow organically, right? If you look at the max supply on the other hand, that's something that I personally don't really like about this project, which is it has a 320 million token max supply, uh, which is quite high, but uh, you know, they do have buybacks and burns. So you can definitely see the, like, you know, as, as the activity on this platform kind of starts increasing, the buyback and burn rates will make this token extremely deflationary, which will make the price appreciation, uh, you know, much more uh, rapid, right? Uh, if you see the circulating supply, on the other hand, it's only 24.9 million tokens in circulation out of the 320 million tokens, right? So it is very interesting uh, to see such a huge discrepancy, which obviously results in uh, short term price lumping. Um, again, since it's a really low market cap token, um, you can expect the price lumping to be a little bit more severe, but as the market cap starts to grow and as more trading activity happens within the platform, you can expect the buybacks and burn to kind of like offset the short term price lumping caused by the huge discrepancy between the circulating supply as well as the max supply, right? So if you take the chart, for example, uh, you can clearly see that the token has been making some really decent higher highs and higher lows. The token uh, was available uh, very recently since uh, 23rd of April uh, and the price chart is basically showing that the token was trading at 28 cents per, to per token uh, on 23rd of April 2021 and it recently it, it also had a small dump uh, whereby reaching 21 cents at its lower end and then it started pumping extremely high early uh, or late April early March in that area uh, where the token price was about 75 cents per token and then it's uh, again dumped uh, pretty uh, quickly reaching a lower point of about 49 cents in the first of May and then kind of had a, a second kind of like a you know, uh, rally reaching up to 63 cents per token and then kind of like, you know moving sideways and kind of like going to a lower point of 47 cents and uh, now it's uh, if you see in the past, uh, you know, 28, 24 to 48 hours, the token start started like going parabolic, and now it's in the 50, 53 cents range, right? I do believe that this token can cool off. Again, it is a very volatile token due to its very low market cap, and it can come and retest the 50 cents range, which will probably be the the place where where uh, this token is going to be for quite some time. Uh, it may go a little bit lower and even retest the 50, sorry, 40. 345 cent range but uh, I, I wouldn't really wait for this token to kind of reach that price point maybe uh, 50 cent would be a really good price point to enter this token uh, if you are planning to hold this token for long term then this is even a good price point as well uh, considering the very low market cap and uh, the new higher highs and higher lows this token is setting out so a really good entry point for uh, for this token uh, would be around the 50 cent range in my opinion again not financial advice uh, if you take the Bitcoin compared to the other hand, you can clearly see that the token was uh, trading at 634 Satoshis, uh, 23rd of March, and, and then it was basically, uh, you know, dropped down to 381 Satoshis, which was pretty much the all-time lows, uh, and then it started going ballistic and reaching 1,383 Satoshis per token, and then coming back down, uh, retesting the 800 Satoshi, 850 Satoshi range, going back up, crossing the 1,000 Satoshi mark, and then now it's kind of uh, going back up. Um, probably it will kind of like, you know, come back down to around the 900 Satoshi range. And then it will definitely shoot up and cross the 1000, 1500 Satoshi range and setting new all time highs, right? So that's very interesting. If you look at the Ether compared to, on the other hand, pretty similar, uh, again, chart, uh, you know, to Bitcoin compared to, but uh, you can clearly see that this token was trading at 0 0.0001. Ether per token and then went to an all time lows of about 0 0.00008 and then reaching an all time highs of about 0 0.0002 Ether per token and now it's pretty much at its uh, you know, second kind of all time lows, uh, not the all time all time lows but you know kind of like the lowest point uh, it, it is because of uh, the Ethereum price point itself, Ether itself uh, performing really well. So this may be probably some of the best time to buy this token with some spare Ethereum, if you ask me. Uh, when it comes to Bitcoin and dollar competitive, I'd probably wait for it to cool down a bit. But for Ether competitive, it's pretty much at its uh, real uh, lows right now, which will be a really good entry point, right? Again, 
not financial advice it's still a volatile token so i would uh, bear a lot of caution before buying this token so again when it comes to market pairs you can pretty much buy it from uniswap you can also buy it from kucoin gay.io and also flybit uh, i haven't heard of flybit before so i wouldn't really recommend that but uh, kucoin and gay.io you can pretty much purchase it using usdt but they are centralized exchanges but the benefit of centralized exchanges is that uh, you can pretty much uh, kind of like um, uh, you know kind of uh, buy it with very low fees and uh, kucoin and gay.io you know uh, kucoin is a really good exchange gay.io is kind of like an emerging popular exchange for exotic new altcoins so you can buy them uh, buy this uh, this token with usdt there if you are a big fan of uh, decentralized exchanges and want to buy it using ethereum because of the fact that it is a pretty good buy opportunity for people who want to you know uh, throw some spare ether on this token then you can buy it from uniswap as well right but the fact of the matter is uh, uh, the gas fees may be obviously very high so please bear that in mind so what's my final verdict on this project i do think that um, this project will kind of be like a project that a uh, lot of people will use but uh, they won't really kind of like appreciate it because if you take block folio uh, you know it's kind of becoming more and more popular for everyone who want to track their crypto portfolio right so hold i can pretty much see this project being like the decentralized version of block folio uh, except uh, you can kind of uh, trade other people's portfolio as a, an etf kind of token which uh, again depending on how well your etf portfolio uh, performs you can become the champion and be a popular figure within the hard ecosystem right and you can basically see that the token is extremely early you're buying a token that is extremely low market cap um, obviously the max supply and the circulating supply is quite concerning it is a deflationary token so at least in the, in the in the medium short term you can probably see once the market cap kind of like crosses the uh, you know 100 million dollars in market cap value you can pretty much see that this token will have much more frequent buybacks and burn which will make it more deflationary that will definitely have a good price appreciation point right i do believe that this token can easily cross a $1 mark and even the $1.50 mark uh, and uh, in in my bullish case scenario i believe that this token can cross a $2 mark by the end of this bull run uh, if everything goes well and if this token does perform like very well and makes 100x then it will probably be like a $5 uh you know kind of like uh, a token in the in the uh kind of like a mid to long run right uh, but again uh, this token must uh, kind of like uh, try to branch out and make itself much more interoperable in different blockchains in order for it to capture much more market share and continue to be relevant right which i do think that every successful uh, project uh, will aim to do since it's still in the early phase we will we will have to keep an eye out for it Uh, to see what other blockchains they're planning to kind of integrate with right again remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye